What is quality? Uh, quality is one of my favorite topics and uh, I have thought about quality in varying times throughout my life. Uh, the first time I came across somewhat of a definition of quality, which I'll tell you it's really can't be defined very well, is when I was reading uh, Robert M. Persick's book, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Now, whatever you've heard about that book, it was dry or it was whatever for you too new ag uh, there's a really good definition of quality in there which is um, uh, called uh, that quality happens when uh, a classical basically material statistical good number uh, quality meets uh, an emotional quality together quality applies in the middle of that it's the, in this in the middle of the right and the left brain um, that is where quality is. Uh, so he's he chooses not to define quality by what it is or what it isn't, but how quality appears where it shows up. Very interesting book, if you like to read books uh, on uh, on things like that. Um, so it got me really thinking about what I would see as quality. I'm often tempted to. Uh, resign quality to it looks nice or or I love the colors and it, you know, immediately you start dissecting a thing that you think is of good quality into its parts and you no, you no longer have that quality anymore because by the parts they never have the quality that the whole thing has with it. Um, a parallel to this would be how Apple uh, computers, how Apple uh, defines uh, their pursuit in this world which uh, they would famously say that Apple lies in the intersection of uh, technology and liberal arts, which is again becoming that classical quality technology and liberal arts, which is your emotional quality, uh, visual quality, uh, those kind of things. Um, so that resonates there. A lot of website designs uh, talk about quality, where it's not just the content, it's not just the, the website decoration, but when the content and the decoration work together is where design happens. Famously, somebody said, uh, design is basically decoration with content. Basically, if you take content out of design, you're just left with decoration. So uh, that gets me thinking because uh, how does this relate to woodworking? Because I see a lot of people that are influenced by the shaker style or influenced by the Dutch style. But what they're taking is oftentimes they're just taking a, a design element, a decoration of that style and, and doing their own version of of the work into it, which may or may not have the classical style or the content that goes into producing these pieces, and they call it uh, they call it uh, a good quality item or Japanese uh, or Dutch quality item. Um, uh, so oftentimes I think about where that quality lies, and it's not just picking a style because you're really just picking the decoration. Um, uh, at that time, we're not really picking uh, the philosophy behind a particular style that you may be trying to represent or show in your work. Um, some of the things that I think hold a lot of quality uh, in terms of woodworking are shaker design uh, furniture pieces, Dutch design furniture pieces. Uh, James uh, Krenov uh, would be uh, an example of that. Shaker style would be Paul Sellers and many others like him who uh, utilize shaker style ideas uh, and uh, uh, processes and in, in designs into their high quality work. Um, and also uh, Japanese woodworking with shashimono uh, furniture, uh, that is also timeless in my mind. And these, these three kinds of furniture in my mind is timeless. And that is a very other interesting idea of quality as Robert Persig explains that. Um, Timelessness comes from what is he calls dynamic quality, which is something that keeps giving. Every time you look at it, you feel like you've you've seen something new. It means a lot more. Uh, and then there's what is static quality, which is just now. How does it look like right now? To me, things like that veneering, some kinds of uh, decoration, moldings, um, um, those kind of things, uh, funny, uh, interesting kinds of just using 
variety of woods in your piece th those are decoration to me in some ways uh, they are static quality they look nice at first but they don't hold their value with time sometimes to me uh, the dynamic quality takes more uh, than just a, a figurative piece of wood or a molding uh, carving or some kind of a veneer work that you've done uh, dynamic quality transcends that and 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 there's something more in the woodworking furniture in, in the furniture piece that that gives something a dynamic quality like in the shaker style furniture dutch furniture or uh, in uh, japanese uh, quality furniture Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on quality. I love having uh, this discussion, I love talking about it, I love thinking about it. Uh, like or share this video with a friend who may have any ideas on this topic. I'd love to uh, get this discussion going. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe uh, to my channel. I have new videos coming out every Mondays and Thursdays, uh, woodworking related stuff. And um, I am also on Facebook and Instagram where I post a lot of behind the scenes uh, photos of what goes on in my workshop. Uh, so uh, you can find links to that in the doobly-doos uh, right under that like button. So uh, I will see you in the next video.